In today's video, we're taking a closer look at the new Dragon Egg Ocarinas from Songbird Ocarina, so stick around. What's up, Black Amigos? My name is David, and as I mentioned, we're going to be looking at some of the newest additions to the Songbird Ocarina collection. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I post any review, tutorial, or music video. Now, having been playing these for a while, I know that the Ocarina is pretty popular in the fantasy community, whether it be video games, Ren Fairs. The Ocarina is no stranger to magical and mystical worlds, so it only makes sense that Songbird would create something like a Dragon Egg Ocarina to fit in with those settings. Immediately, the first thing that you notice is that these things are meant to be displayed. I love that they included a way for these Ocarinas to stand on end, like so, so that they can be displayed uh, on your desk, on your table. I love that they come in a variety of different colors to suit the personality of the owner. And the texture of the Ocarina is actually pretty cool. It feels very natural, like you're touching the stone, something that you'd find out in the outdoor and most of the dragon eggs I've seen look like you'd actually find them out in nature, which is pretty cool. Now onto the ergonomics, how it feels when you hold and play it. The other thing that you're going to notice at first is that it comes in two different styles. The nine hole, which is more of an inline ocarina, which is pretty rare these days, I feel. The inline takes the 12 hole style and basically puts it in front of your face. So it being a nine hole ocarina, what they basically did was they didn't include a hole for your left pinky. So it's three holes on top for your left hand and four holes for the right hand on top and then two thumb holes. And then for the other style, they have the six holes. So it's two thumb holes in the bottom and four holes on top. Now I feel that this shape is more suited for the six hole ocarina just because of how you actually hold it. You can see that down here, I'm actually using my pinky and ring finger to balance it, which makes a little more sense with the globular shape. Whereas with the inline, uh, which is nine holes, you're going to be taking all of your fingers off at one point, except for your pinkies. And it's a little bit harder to balance than the six holes. I feel like this is a common problem when it comes to inline ocarinas of themselves. Of all the inlines I have, it is kind of hard to hold at that position with all fingers uncovered, as opposed to a transverse where you have a little bit more opportunity to balance it in a certain way. So that's one of the negatives I see about the inline style. The other thing I noticed is that you cannot play like this because of the angle of the wind weight. You have to play it in front of your face like this, which is a little interesting, almost like playing a, a horn or like some sort of a brass instrument. Other than that, they're pretty comfortable to hold. Again, I really enjoy how the six hole feels specifically because I can balance it with my ring and pinky fingers a little bit easier. Now onto the sound. The timbre of the ocarina is pretty sweet. I wouldn't describe it as bright. It is more of a darker tone, slightly textured, a touch of breathiness throughout the range, which I like personally. I feel it fits really well with uh, more like Ren Faire fantasy uh, style music. And it's not too loud either, which is really nice. The breath slope is pretty common uh, for most ocarinas. You start soft, you gently increase up till you get to the top. Uh, it's not too steep of a breath slope, which is good too. And I didn't mention it, but they are tuned to B-flat, uh, which is pretty interesting. As uncommon as B-flat is for the tuning of the ocarina, it's a pretty common scale in Western music, so it's nice to have an ocarina that actually fits within that range. And the sound is beautiful as well.
out the review. I really enjoy these ocarinas for their aesthetics. I think they make beautiful display pieces. They look really cool. They feel really nice. The tone is pleasant. I like that they give you the option of having either the linear style with the nine hole or the six hole uh, pendant style. But again, because of the way that the ocarina has to be held uh, when you lift up all your fingers, I think the shape lends itself more to the six hole style than the linear style. So that's something to keep in mind. That's gonna do it for this video. Do you plan to grab one of these? If yes, let me know which color you would prefer in the comments down below. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is David and I post new Ocarina videos throughout the week. So don't forget to subscribe. And until the next video, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll see you then.